Hi, it's Dr. David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell International. Today we're discussing stem cell therapy for rheumatoid arthritis. So rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disorder and it occurs when your immune system mistakenly attacks your own body's tissues. Um, and it would be great if it was a situation where you, you know, went into the wrong bathroom and you were like, oh, geez, my bad. And you went into the right one and it was a one-time mistake. But this keeps on happening over and over and over again. So it's uh, devastating potentially for a patient. You can see here a normal-looking knee on the left. And on the right, what happens is your body um, uh, degenerates what's called synovial tissue in a joint. And as that degrades, it can also, you know, sort of bring along for the ride erosion of cartilage and other bone and just inflame soft tissue components like meniscus too. So there was a 2010 study that showed over half of those with RA are unable to work after 10 years of their diagnosis. 1% of the population is affected globally. And factors that may increase your risk, women are twice as likely than men, most common in middle-aged individuals. Risk factors include smoking and or obesity. And then there's environmental exposure, such as asbestos, silica, uh, repetitive uh, dust exposure. RA increases the risk of a heart attack and stroke um, 60% one year after diagnosis. Infections may be responsible for 25% of deaths in people with RA, um, and people with RA are two times as likely to suffer from depression. Medical costs, this was from 2007, so this is old, but it, you know, it's 20000 per patient to get treated with a biologic agent, um, and other costs include up to $6,000 per patient per year. That's old as well, so these numbers are probably much higher by now. You can see the comorbidities. It's not just joints that are affected. It's also potential for stroke, eye problems, lung issues, diabetes, vasculitis, uh, osteoporosis, heart disease, depression, anxiety. Conventional, tr conventional treatment options for rheumatoid arthritis. The main goal was to control that inflammation and that immune system attacking itself, okay? And to get pain relief and reduce disability. Medications may start with something simple like anti-inflammatories and then graduate to the DMARDs, which are disease-modifying agents, which include things like methotrexate, Plaquenil, sulfasalazine. Yes, they do curb the immune system activity. No, they are not selective. So your immune system is there for a reason. And when you take these DMARDs, they can really help, but they can also have significant side effects. Just as an example, methotrexate was initially not approved for this reason. It was approved as a chemotherapy agent, so there's a lot of toxicity that goes along with it. There's another category of medications that are biologics, which include Humira, Enbrel, Remicade, and once again, they are not selective either. Um, and then good old steroids. Prednisone is often prescribed to individuals on a, a chronic basis. Could be five milligrams, 10 milligrams a day, 20 milligrams a day, whatever it is, there's a lot of side effects with, uh, with steroids, as most people know. And then you have the surgeries, like a joint replacement or a fusion, um, and then other treatments, exercise, OT, PT. So let's delve into stem cell therapy for rheumatoid arthritis. This is really a new paradigm in medicine because it's a non-operative therapy that can actually help repair and regenerate tissues that have become damaged. A uh, typical patient gets significant relief and improved function. These are low-risk uh, therapies that are outpatient and so often effective. Our protocol typically includes both an IV and a focal injection. For instance, a lot of rheumatoid arthritis patients have specific joints that are more painful, so it can help to have a hybrid, an IV and a focal injection. How do the biologics work with stem cells? Well, a lot of people think that, okay, I'm going to get this stem cell therapy. Those stem cells are going to turn into the specialty cells that I need. And that's typically not how these work. A lot of how it works is what's called paracrine signaling. That just means cell-to-cell -cell communication where the cell from one's own body to help repair and regenerate um, damage 
Also, neovascularization, which is creation of new blood flow. Um, and then reduce death of certain cells, whether it's neurons, cartilage cells, what have you. Uh, it's great to have them stick around longer and continue to do their job so that you have more of them. Immunomodulation is what we're mostly talking about here, where you want to modulate the immune system to tamp it down in a selective manner so that you don't have the body fighting itself. At the same time, you don't want to inhibit the good functions of the immune system. You don't want to become more susceptible to various infections, as an example. So here's some studies showing just how well uh, stem cell therapy works for rheumatoid arthritis. This was a study um, with 172 patients who did not respond well to traditional medication management. There are two groups. One had just the, the DMARDs, the d disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs, um, without stem cell, or the DMARDs plus the umbilical cord mesenchymal stem cells. Four times 10 to the seventh, translating that is 40 million stem cells per treatment via IV infusion. And what they did was they looked at serum markers of inflammation, um, and they noticed that treatment induced a significant remission of the disease in those who got the stem cells, and they noted that repeated infusions only made it better. The DMARDs alone had no significant uh, sustained benefit with the serum markers of inflammation. So the conclusion was that treatment with the DMARDs plus the umbilical cord stem cells may provide safe, significant, and persistent clinical benefits for patients with active RA. Here's a study looking at IV infusion of umbilical cord blood-derived mesenchymal stem cells. This was only nine patients um, with moderate disease. They were given one infusion, and the cell numbers range from 25 million up to 100 million. Um, no complications. Inflammatory markers were decreased significantly at one month. So even one treatment can have a significant benefit. Uh, this is a study, Efficacy and Safety of Umbilical Cord Mesenchymal Stem Cells for RA Patients. 64 patients, broad age range, um, who received 20 million umbilical cord stem cells. They, looked, they followed the patients for three years. So they looked at sed rate, CRP, and rheumatoid factor after treatment. And they detected them to be lower than that of pretreatment, which showed a significant change for the three years. So not just six months, not just a year. The results of this study supported the use of umbilical cord mesenchymal stem cells as all patients failed traditional drug treatment and obtained system, symptom improvements and evaluation index decrease after the umbilical cord stem cell treatment. So long-term benefits were fantastic. These were two of the patients from that study. This is the first one. You can see the deformity and the swelling on the left side, and uh, he couldn't keep his hands straight. And after three years, you can see on the right where he's got his hands straight, the swelling is way down, um, and the rheumatic nodules uh, were much uh, less prominent. Here's another patient, 33-year-old um, female who had chronic uh, RA. She had trouble, difficulty with clenching and swelling and pain. And you can see one week later, just how dramatic the result was when it comes to the lack of, uh, of swelling. So this study is very interesting. Bone marrow mesenchymal stem cells in immune diseases like AS, rheumatoid arthritis, spondyloarthritis, uh, do they create problems rather than solutions? So what they noticed is that graphs of normal autologous or allogeneic bone marrow might be a great solution. But what they found is that in a subset of mesenchymal stem cells from bone marrow, it actually created an abnormal behavior. And it was a problem that made things worse. And they did not see that in umbilical cord mesenchymal stem cells. So that's one thing to you know, take into consideration if you're trying to decide, yeah, should I have a bone marrow therapy or an umbilical cord? I don't know. Well, this study should be taken into account. In conclusion, there are many small and medium-sized studies, early clinical trials, and our own experience show that stem cell therapy for RA is not only very, very safe, but it's typically very, very effective. Now, 
couple couple points here. It, what you can see, and not just the studies I show, but if you look at a lot of others, high stem cell numbers are necessary. In um, the U.S., for instance, you're not allowed to culture uh, stem cell biologics, so it's hard to reach those numbers that we can get internationally. Uh, the combo is what we've often seen to work the best. For instance, if there's joint uh, pain as well as you know systemic rheumatoid arthritis, the hybrid is great. Uh, umbilical cord gives fantastic results. I do want to mention that we're not talking about embryonic stem cell therapy. We're not talking about induced pluripotent stem cell therapy. Neither of those are ready for prime time use. If someone suggests to you, yeah, get the embryonic stem cells, they can turn into anything, they're going to be the best, blah, blah, blah. That's not true. Yes, they can turn into anything. Yes, you will automatically reject them. Okay, so unless and, and until that gets figured out, the stem cells that we use, called mesenchymal stem cells and hematopoietic stem cells, those are the way to go. Safe, don't get rejected, they don't form tumors, and that's what we use. All right, so let's talk about our program internationally. We have centers in Mexico, in Tijuana, as well as Mexicali, and we're building one in Cancun. The one in Tijuana is only 20 minutes from the San Diego airport, so it's extremely convenient. I know that because I've done that many times. The process starts with a simple free phone consultation. Uh, the experienced licensed stem cell doctor will listen to your history, look at any medical records available, um, and then we have a dedicated patient concierge representative who will help you with all your travel logistics, getting any questions answered, we do provide transportation from the airport to the clinic and back and, and to your visit and treatment as well. Let's talk about the cells for a moment because anybody who knows anything about stem cell therapy knows that a lot of the magic happens at the lab. Okay, Our lab in Mexico is GenCell. They have a pristine safety record over seven years. The quality assurance standards that they use are above and beyond those of the FDA when it comes to testing for communicable disease, things like that. Um, they're very, very stringent. There's no preservative needed, and you are allowed to culture the stem cells in Mexico. So we are able to achieve very high numbers with very high viability, over 95%. They are very pure and potent stem cells. We keep the culturing below the fifth generation. Um, that's a key point because most labs internationally they're like, we're just going to culture it because it's cheaper over and over and over and over and over again to where you get very high numbers, but there's high generations. They don't function anymore. They don't even look like stem cells, really. So be careful of that. We've uh, gotten a lot of awards this past year. Um, one we just got was the USA's leading regenerative therapy services provider. We took all of the things that made us great in the United States, and those are the same quality standards that we use internationally, but we're able to have much higher numbers of stem cells with the quality biologics that we use. Treatment starts at only $2,975, all-inclusive, and that's 30 million stem cells included. If a patient wants an additional 20 million, it's only another $1,000, okay? We also have several programs where you can come multiple times per year and get a fantastic uh, discount for your investment. Um, in addition, we also have a treatment program where you can come for a week um, and get treatment several times because you can get anywhere from 30 million for a treatment, upwards of 200 million, uh, depending on the conditions that you're dealing with, whether it's simply RA or you also have diabetes, things like that. The process to get started for your free phone consultation is simple. Call us today at 888-988-0515 and visit us online at stemcelltreatmentclinic.com. All right. We've been featured all over the place on all the major media channels. Uh, in addition to the USA's leading regenerative services provider, we also got 10 most innovative companies, 50 smartest companies of the year, so on and so forth. I really appreciate you guys watching, and also uh, we look forward to treating you. Thank you.